Welcome back to the channel. We're coming at you from beautiful Coronado Campground in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Bernalillo, New Mexico. Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, they're right next to each other, but yeah, she's right. <laughs> so we actually have a, a big list of items that came in from Amazon to do some modifications, some upgrades, etc. So uh, let's get in the RV and start working on some of those. So we've got a lot of different things that we're doing today and right behind me it is an absolute disaster on our countertop. So we got to start getting into this and get cleaned up in here. So from our last video you guys probably know we were uh, kind of caravanning from Arizona into New Mexico and then up here to Albuquerque with our friend Justin who was a subscriber and then we met him at the Bisbee event and he actually had a really good suggestion. So while we were on the road, we ordered these, had them delivered to our old house here, where our friends uh, Ryan and Cynthia now live. Thanks, or, Justin. <laughs> so uh, this was kind of something, I don't know why we didn't ever think of. Little mini inverters. So they're 300 watt. So these right here will allow us to hook into our 12 volt plugins that we have around the rig and that way we can use items such as our projector, uh, fans if we need to, uh, fast chargers, etc. because this has a built-in USB-C fast charger on it, uh, without turning the inverter on. So this will actually save us a decent amount of power. Uh, it's just a really smart idea. So like we said, thanks Justin, and we bought three of them. We're gonna put them all around the rig, two in the back, and then one in the front. So as you can see, it's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter. We have plenty of those all around the rig. We got one right here, for example. Uh, we got one there, and then we have a couple in the back. So what I'm gonna do actually is put on some 3M double-sided tape, uh, get that anywhere, any store, uh, get it on Amazon, etc. We did purchase these on Amazon, and we will have a link down in the description for these. So I think this is a really great idea that probably everybody should do. Uh, it's just so you don't need the big inverter on. Obviously, inverter has a ghost draw to it, so you're going to be using, consuming some energy there. But then also, you're going to be powering things you don't need to be powering. So for us, we want to use this to, like I said, power the projector. The fans in the back also have the USB-C fast charging port for our phones when we're in the back. And then also for our automatic cat litter box. Uh, this right here will allow that to be on uh, without having our main inverter on. So uh, I'm going to get to it and see where we can get these put up and installed. So we're throwing some double sided tape here on the back. I'm probably going to have to double up because of this lip right here. Uh, I really want as much surface space as possible. So I'll double up and that should get me past that lip. And then we'll get it mounted up here and we'll show you the spot once we get that mounted. So there it is. Use the double sided tape. Had to put like four layers uh, to get it because the edge is kind of uh, beveled out. But it's mounted up in there. Looks really good. Um, eventually, probably like to do something to cover these wires, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, but now we have 12 volt supplying this mini inverter, and we can run our projector and our Roku off it, no problem. So that is a win for us when not hooked up. So our one up front, we're actually gonna wait uh, because we are gonna build a little, another cabinet area right here to hold uh, probably an espresso, the small one. And we'll mount this to the bottom of that. That way it's kind of out of the way, hidden a little bit more, and we don't have ex much exposed wiring. So this one's gonna have to wait. So I'm pretty excited about this next mod. I've wanted it for pretty much a while now. So this is from Amazon, right Neil? Yep. And we got the stainless steel magnetic knife bar. So all Neil had to do was put two screws in here and then slap on that magnetic bar. And look at that. Now we can stick some knives on there and that thing is solid. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really good, especially with our nice background we did here. 
So Neil also bought us a new knife set, which is by GSI Outdoors, which we also bought off of Amazon. And I actually have no idea what he bought, so we need to open it up, but I actually gotta clip this so I can open it first. <laughs> so it has really good reviews. Okay, here's what they look like. And uh, if you look on Amazon, the reviews are top notch, so that's why we purchased them. So this is now what they look like with the knives all placed and up. So now really the next test is going to be to see while we're driving how they hold up, if they're going to stay on there or not. So that's going to be the real test and we will let you know how that goes. And we have the sheaths on here and this is strong enough that it holds them with the sheath. So we're hoping it'll hold while driving like that. If not, we just put the knives up there it'll definitely hold. We're hoping for the sheaths just in case the cats climb up here and I'm poking some. We always got to think about our cats and their safety so it's very important. All right, so our next mod we cannot take any credit for. We had actually had another bathroom storage organizer up on the door here but as you can see it actually caused some damage on both sides of our door so we decided to look in the groups to see what other people were doing there's a bunch of people who have these already but uh, we also want to thank the echo nesters because they put up a nice video on their instagram showing what these looked like so this is what it looks like when it's all set up this is what it looks like when you receive it but we unfortunately have to return this one because it came damaged so right now I'm going to put this one up so you guys can see what it looks like. But we will have two of them sitting right next to each other and they look beautiful. So here is what it looks like all mounted up. And I added in some dude wipes already and our toothbrushes right here. It sits beautifully and it's hard to tell right now but we'll show you when it's completed. Another one will sit perfectly flush right next to it and we'll have all that stuff storage space for bathroom things. And just one last thing, the bonus about these is they're actually made to go on like cupboard doors. So they fit on RV doors perfectly or cupboard doors like down here. So just if you're wondering, they go right up and over nice and tight and perfect. So our next thing is, is as most know, I am with a company called Bucked Up and it's a sports supplement company lots of amazing products we actually just got an order in today uh of my little athlete package here we grabbed some bucked up iv electrolytes and hydration so this is really great for the summertime uh, there's always a link down in the description for products but this is one that i uh tastes delicious and it really helps keep you hydrated and we drink it every day so the point of that is though is i have a ton of supplements and I needed something to get my supplements out of the gigantic bag off our uh, jumper seats here so we could actually sit there. So I found these. They're literally the perfect width and they fit right up above the door here. They're magnetic. This is aluminum so it's not going to stick. But what we are going to do is run a piece of double sided tape here and here. VHB tape stuff sticks like glue and we're gonna mount them right here so even when we're driving down bumpy roads it's sitting on top of the door plate and they won't go anywhere and we're, we have two of them so side by side so we'll fit four full-size supplements and then a couple things of our multivitamins vitamin d apple cider vinegar uh gummies that we have so uh let me get this uh mounted up it'll take me a little bit because i just gotta run the uh, the tape on there and then we'll show you the final product well, if anybody's ever worked with VHB tape, double sided tape, it could be a pain, but we made it work. And final product, it actually looks really good. Looks like it was designed that way with a shelf there. So we got our uh, Bucked Up IV, which is our hydration supplement, our greens, which we started taking. We need to take them every morning though. Um, and then some pre-workouts and some multivitamins and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna have links to these shelves also in the description, they're from Amazon. And then of course, like I said already, we'll have stuff for the links for the bucked up and a discount code in there. So if you're interested in, you know, starting to take some greens or you need some hydration product for the summer, uh, we got a few different flavors and we can tell you firsthand that it is delicious. So 
definitely uh, check out the description if you are interested in that. And our last bod that we are going to include in this video is going to be swapping out our Xantrex Freedom X for the Bluetooth version. Uh, this is the uh, remote panel for the inverter. So we're going to swap this out just that way it's a little bit easier in the future if we have to change any settings. Uh, we'll just be able to do all on our phone. Kind of easy, more convenient, and it's nice to be able to see the data on your phone in an app. And then also from Freedom Van Gogh, uh, we just ordered, he actually just came out with this about a week or so ago, um, and we were the first person to jump on the order real quick. This is the fix uh, issue with the solar charge controller uh, wiring um, and fuses. So I'm not gonna install this today, but a uh, huge thanks to Freedom Van Gogh Grant there for uh, coming up with this solution to that potential future issue that people are having. Uh, we're just gonna get ahead of it and get this installed. But right now, I'm gonna get the Xantrex Bluetooth uh, remote panel up there. The old Xantrex remote panel is removed. New one looks exactly like it, but just has Bluetooth on it. And the app, a little tricky because New versions of Android don't support the app, so I actually had to go get an APK pack, download it, you know, like a non-secure app warning you'll get, you know. Um, you just have to accept it, just find a good source. Uh, just a Google search, just type in Xantrex uh, APK, and it'll pop up, you'll see like five, six of them in a row. You download that, and then now I can see everything that I couldn't see before without looking at this little screen. But the main thing is for this really is, I can see all the info, that's cool, you know, being, you know, kind of techy, I like that. Uh, but you get alerts, if there's any, I don't have any. But what's really cool is you can go into your settings, you can change all your settings here, quick and easy. But the really most important part is right here, breaker rating. 30 amp, we're hooked up here at this uh, campground, 30 amp. But if you're at a house, you could change this down to 15 amp or even 10 if you wanted to play it safe. And there you go. You can uh, make sure that you're not popping breakers on your house if you're plugged into a regular outlet, which is with a step down from your 30 amp. So final mod, addition, upgrade, whatever you want to call it, done. So for any of the items that you've seen in this video, they'll be down in the description linked. Uh, to Amazon and if you go through there uh, we make a few cents so it helps the channel uh, it's gonna help us go on some more cool adventures and take you guys along with us so if you have any questions about anything that uh, we've done thus far or in this video just drop them down in the comments I will answer every question you ask uh, we try to make sure actually we pretty much answer every single comment uh, I make sure to go out of my way and put some time each day if we have comments to answer those uh, and then if you have uh, any more detailed comments we do have our email linked in there so you could uh, leave a comment and then shoot us an email uh, and we'll get back to you so thank you guys for coming along with our endless modifications in our echo we definitely have more to come for you please give us a big thumbs up on this video and as always please consider subscribing to our channel we'd love to have you along on our journey we've got to clean up our mess now so we gotta go we'll see you in the next video see you guys in the next one about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see